shopper and let me take you today to see what other stories has to offer for this fall season, fall and winter. We'll cover some outerwear, some warm jumpers, maybe a few accessories. Stay tuned. This is very cream and black, very Chanel high fashion like combination of black and white. Very, very beautiful and a sequin. Let's go inside. Wondering about shoes, uh, the nicest ones that I saw in a store are these three. So with the chunkier boot and lower. Somebody asked me if they should go for a Chelsea boot or lace-up boot. I said probably a lace-up, but these are the ones that I love the most. Uh, this one probably doesn't have my size, so these one, two, three, I will link them for you. Maybe I'll grab these to try on with my outfits. So in a shoe department, the nicest, the lace up one is this one, guys. If they still have it, I'll link it also. It actually, yeah, looks really, really cute. I think they also don't have a size here. So if it's 36, sometimes they don't have it, but I'll ask. Uh, they have a little shiny leather which makes them a bit more elevated. The other ones I don't like too much to be fair. Uh, if you're into loafers though, this is really really cute. Look at this silver and this detailing. I'm always like very detailed about details as you know. These look really proper soft leather and uh, their detailing is really really nice. Even if you compare it to the chunkier one. So this is a bit chunky and it might do the job they look a little bit like Chanel but to me this like kind of doesn't work and another extra chunky loafers could do look a lot like with Brienza Shula uh, very minimalist if you're into uh, you can find them down below so uh, to save the time these are the things that I'm gonna be trying for you today the black and white jumpers very high fashion ones uh, this one is also fashion but a bit more wearable and I'll have some uh, very unconventional styles that I found at uh, the other stories because I think they are moving towards the minimalist direction a bit more this season with, the, with these items and some more uh, ready to wear outerwear like this uh, parka style coat and then we'll have a little bit more here <laughs> I'm grabbing the rail and girls are helping me out. I loved this Parker coat and this I'm gonna be trying for you. I'm gonna be trying this bomba blazer and one of the coats that I loved is this one it might be um, sold out but I hope it's still available this looks like really amazing quality to me very very much like Maxmara so it's the only coat that they had here and I'm loving it and it's a slightly bigger size that I usually get which is not gonna be bad for me either and I have um, another long coat which i'm quite conscious about the color but it's really cool because um, it has a removable uh, jacket so it could be like a trench it could be layered with other fleece item in a in the side and uh, in the bags department the only bag that i loved uh, was the swan bottega style uh, bag uh, the shoes already shown you so let's get going I'm, I'm gonna save you the time this time around and we're gonna just see everything that's just amazing without too much talking I'm wearing an outfit uh, total arcade today except for my sneakers which are Chanel as you can see uh, these are slim 
stretch denim very similar to the favorite cut in uh, other stories but favorite is a little bit more loose in this department I guess I like them uh, although I don't wear them too much because they're a bit like too fitted for me uh, for work days I usually wear something a bit looser a bit comfier and I have this silk shirt also by Arcad. Arcad we don't have it in Dubai yet uh, but hopefully they will open soon so yeah let's get it started the coat number one the only coat that i have i have it in a size 12 which is a bit bigger that i usually get it feels very very dense and warm uh, other coats that they had out they didn't have enough you know like thickness in a fabric so i didn't really like them and uh, this one let's look at the composition i guess it's like total wool and merino which is really really lovely and very feeling like a max mara to me so it is a wool and alpaca blend which is really really lovely the color is uh, nice and muted for European ladies I uh, would probably not recommend for somebody who is like darker skin this color might not work for you or if you needed more contrast maybe go for a darker like navy coat or a khaki coat it is a little bit slightly slightly itchy because I have a silky shirt I can feel it so you probably would need a thicker jumper but in general these type of um, coats works really really well for me because I like the, the comfort it's like it's like a robe you know uh, you put it on and you are feeling all snug and comfortable I'm just gonna do my belt so you can see it a bit more so yeah even if you go for your true size it's gonna be slightly oversized and uh, which is gonna be amazing it is full length I'm 168 uh, or 5.7 and this is around like in the middle of my uh, ankle like a bit lower than my ankle next i'm trying on this black and white black and cream to be fair a jumper that gives me very strong chanel vibes of their black and white blazer the famous one that you probably know i purposely uh combined it with a uh, light denim because i think it needs uh some blue denim to stand out it would look a little bit dull if you combine it with just black or with a crew well, you could give it a try. I probably would want to wear a bit chunkier accessories, this one. It feels nice, it doesn't give me any itchiness. I think it's some combination of the polyester and wool. It actually is 100% wool, which is nice. And also same design on the back. This next jumper that I'm trying on is also high fashion, very accent jumper with the uh, check, <laughs> very, very big checks. And uh, as you can see, it's split in black and white on the sides. It's a blend of polyamide, alpaca and wool. Not itchy at all, really soft, but as you can see, uh, it is has a like longer type of hair, which is also really, really cute and i like that it is just slightly oversized not too much and uh, the length is perfect i think even for petite girls it would should work really really well and uh, this jumper is number three it has like a goose feet da -da -da going on a little bit more like a uh, tweedy chanel style very very variable uh, fabrics are a bit more synthetic -y, which would mean it might be just easier to care for that you could throw it in the machine also I like the shape slightly oversized in the shoulder and in this chest area for somebody who is flat chested like <laughs> myself uh, should work really well and the uh, cropped length that gives you this nice proportion the sleeve is slightly longer and in a in a nice way probably would go for this one out of the three 
So for the second part of this video, I am trying on unconventional style of other stories. It's new. I'm loving it. Very Berlin, Scandi, minimalist items. So this is the like a blanket style blazer uh, jacket, like a bomber, but they are unfitted on the bottom. And this one I'm trying in a size extra small. Also to match it correctly, I am wearing it together with this uh with this denim it's called a uh, muse cut yeah it's a muse cut i have a size 25 on and it's a length 30. Uh, many of you ladies always ask me uh, advice about your uh, trousers length and denim length and my reply is that this always has to be you know fitted to your own uh, portion because even if the height is different sometimes legs are different um, so I'm like medium tall but my legs are to be honest not so uh, long so I'm kind of long in this part and in this part but I have to usually uh, cut my jeans and I'm wearing the the Chelsea boot that I locked uh, in the store so for me so this is the length 30 as you can see which is not ideal I would say I would ideally want it to end somewhere here so this is something that you have to keep in mind so you can have a little bit of leg opening as you move and it looks really flattering and attractive cool guys this is actual jacket that I loved the most in uh, the whole shop when I saw it I was like oh my god look at this this is a purely like a design innovation uh, the material is super lovely it's like coated cotton looks really really uh, expensive and the way it's cut and all the lines are just so beautiful it's utilitarian and not super feminine but it's cut very well in a way that would enhance a woman's body and proportion and other they have so many details here like these pockets uh, these pockets here um, on the back as well it's like one block and you can have uh, adjustable waistline so it could be unfitted there are other two huge pockets on the sides. They also don't come too tight, so this is an extra small. You can easily layer it with a fleece, like waistcoat or anything that you fancy to make it extra warm. I think that's the way to do it these days. And it's slightly insulated, so it's not super warm. I also even have like pockets here just one and as you can see you can make a waist let me pull it together so you can see how it could be styled in a in a different way and the length see it covers your bum kind of for the warmth but not too long so for the short and petite girls this would be perfect for really tall girls might be a bit short a length of the sleeve is good my arms are quite long so it is not super short here you go ladies now you have a waistline you can pull it even even more to show you this long sleeve they didn't have my exact size 34 i'm trying a 36 so it's slightly bigger but i love how minimalist it is and so fresh so for any of these jackets you can easily use this layer especially if you live in an environment where you get a lot of heating at work or around the house this could be such a wonderful uh, winter uniform and uh, the cotton t-shirts are really easily washable in machine and you can see the uh, depleted style bag again my next winter item is this brown bombo jacket it's très très cool very nicely done sleeve uh, you know like with the 
with a bomber jacket. Sometimes it could be skimpy, sometimes it could be too oversized. This has a really good balance. Uh, and it's size extra small that I'm wearing. It has enough density, enough room. And uh, the lining is also brown, so there's no contrast. There's this brand and they sell an ASOS, um, the aviation brand. It's a little bit like too much detailed for me. This is really slick. It looks a little bit like easy style, I would say. I would wear like that, if you don't mind. And very minimalist hardware. And uh, small detail. You see, you can put like a pencil <laughs> or a cigarette there. I don't know what. We would use it for but uh, yeah I, I think I love it very versatile option and um, I would add a hoodie something with like a bulkiness like in a gray color or, or white or even black goes really well uh, with the black as well uh, the next coat jacket that I'm gonna try on is the Sun it's much warmer it's aligned with a four shilling and it's also it comes in an insulated water resistant fabric with a chunky big details. Yeah, the shell is cotton with a water resistant layer, I guess. Uh, recycled polyester and lining made out of recycled polyester too. This is very cool as well. Love it. Gives me a vibes of the sh like real shirling jackets like the ones from All Saints, I guess. They come quite expensive, though this one is not expensive at all. I think it's around 200 pounds or maybe a little less. Look at the sleeve. The sleeve detail is really, really cute. Just gives you this like richness, I guess. If they would just use it on the plain fabric would not look as nice. Love really big pockets, really thick, uh, adjustable slightly on the sides and it's not like a blanket jacket that would just you know keep your back open and wind comes that way. That's my only worry about those like open blanket uh, jackets. This could be really warm and insulated. It doesn't have a hood but as I said you could wear it with a snood or like a hat. Really nice when you put it with a white uh, across your chest or for the total black look would be really good too because it has rich textures here. And this is the last coat uh, that I'm trying on. It comes uh, out of two parts. This insulated layer. I probably wouldn't wear it just as it is. It doesn't look finished to me. Only like if you put like handbag, uh, maybe like snood or I don't know what you can put. Like not a belt but you know, maybe a chunkier scarf or if you have a hoodie underneath with a thicker sleeve that will have a bit more detailing to it. And the second part is this uh, trench coat material, also insulated uh, beige color coat. This one is a size small, they didn't have it an extra small. This one uh, is I can see from here. Uh, the waist comes a bit dropped to my... maybe if you would do it up it would go back but it is definitely for very very tall ladies. Uh, it has a like uh, an extra elongated sleeve. Also beautiful but beautiful stitching throughout. Detailing a lot of pockets. So much work. I really like that they, they made fewer items but they put into the design a lot more. Uh, this is how it looks all uh, done up with the zip. Also has a lot of different buttons so definitely yeah slightly dropped a bit of waist uh, I guess to balance this uh, length and that should be quite a good option for like very very cold weather although like with the lining it's not like super warm and uh, such uh, a yeah, nice and versatile option but probably not uh, my favorite my favorite is still this one in a black so yeah I hope you guys uh, loved this video and uh, don't forget to subscribe and put a thumbs up if you found it useful I really love when you leave comments with any of your questions or feedback I love to hear from you uh, don't forget to check out my Instagram for any inspo and I'm gonna see you in my next one